Hi, this is Mans from Quest for a Farm and we are looking at preserving more spinach. This is probably about half of the spinach that grew in two weeks. Um, so you can see it's quite a big like bucket. So I showed you last time how we just cook them in the pot and drain them off for the freezer. And let me show you what else we're doing now because we're having to get a little bit creative. Okay, here is a fair amount of our spinach. Um, you can see I've just stacked it out relatively flat on trays. Um, it's indoors, but it is hot, hot, hot at the moment. So I'm taking advantage of the temperature to start the dehydration process. Once it wilts down a bit, I'll probably pop it in my dehydrator. I'll see how we're going. I might just completely dehydrate it here. And then we will, in a day or two, blit it down to spinach powder, which will flavor like soups and stews and that. And an awful lot of spinach will be stored in a tiny, tiny amount of space. Okay, so this is after about 24 hours you can see my spinach is well wilted down a lot. I have been just kind of coming in and tossing it, making sure it's aerated. I don't think this is going to need the dehydrator at all. There are a few little bits on the side there that have already, if you can see nicely here, completely dehydrated. So that'll make quite a nice spinach powder right there. You can see it's still beautiful and green. We're good to go. Okay, we are now on day three and you can see everything is pretty much dried out. Crunchy, crunchy. So now we're gonna hunt through especially for the thicker parts. So there I can feel a little bit of moisture in there. So that one's gonna sit. Most of the stems. Yeah, there's a little bit of moisture in the stem as well. Probably by tomorrow, maybe the next day, we will be able to blit it up and make our spinach powder. We are now on day four and you can see we are totally dry. Um, here's one of the ones with bigger stems and it's dry, dry. You can hear all nice and crunchy. So let's gather it up and I'll show you what we do. Okay, so we've got all of our spinach here. And I'm going to put it into just a blender or a food processor. You could use like even one of those Nutribullet type things. And I'm just putting it in a little bit at a time. Close her up. And there you have it, spinach powder. I don't mind mine being a little bit rougher. You could of course blend it super fine if that's what you wanted to do. And I should probably have gotten my flask out for this. Oh. My funnel out for this, but not to worry, so we'll just do the next cup of loads. Maybe I'll put a bit more in. Just don't forget to label it. Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, excuse me if I seem a little dreary today, I'm a bit off colour, but please like and subscribe and see what we do next.